So with pad stitching, the thing is most people will execute pad stitching with the fabric flat out to the right and working toward the left. So they'll make their stitches like this. But the problem is, is that puts the fabric in flat. And the whole point of pad stitching, particularly in the collar section, is that you want the fabric to curl. You want to force a curl into the layers. So to do that, we take the fabric and we flip it this way. And then we continue doing our stitches. And you can see that I have a finger underneath here, kind of very tightly rolling. And I'm even using the thumb to kind of push this top layer over a little bit. And as I work, it's subtly shifting all of the layers, little tiny millimeter by millimeter, so that this curl is stitched into every part of it. I'm gonna do a couple more rows and then I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna show you what this is really doing to the textiles. I'm running out of thread, so I'm going to have to stop. Let me take a few more stitches, and then I'll lay this down on a flat surface and you can see. And I, It's best to try this with a couple of pieces of sample fabric. Just do a little test to make sure that you understand what you're supposed to do. But uh, I've had a request for a video about pad stitching. So there, I've secured this off. Now, Follow me over here, and you can see this is really trying to lift up and curl. It's, it's programmed into the layers now. So that's a little pad stitching demonstration for you.